he helped end one war then spent the rest of his life haunted by what it began. J. Robert Oppenheimer, born in 1904 in New York City, was a prodigy. By his teens, he was mastering physics and literature. After graduating from Harvard in just three years, he studied quantum physics in Germany under legends like Max Born and Werner Hupp, but it was in the deserts of New Mexico where Oppenheimer would leave his mark on history. In 1942, he became scientific director of the Manhattan Project, a secret U.S. effort to build the atomic bomb before Nazi Germany. At Los Alamos, Oppenheimer led a team of the world's brightest minds. Their work culminated on July 16, 1945, with the Trinity test the world's first nuclear explosion. Watching the mushroom cloud rise, Oppenheimer recalled the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The bombs dropped on Hiroshima, and Nagasaki brought victory boot, at a cost that Oppenheimer would never shake. After the war, he opposed the hydrogen bomb and called for international control of nuclear weapons. That didn't sit well with Cold War hawks. In 1954, his past political associations and outspoken views led to a brutal security hearing. He lost his clearance. His reputation was shattered. He was a national hero turned outcast. Yet Oppenheimer never stopped thinking, teaching, or reflecting. In 1963, he received the Enrico Fermi Award, a kind of public apology. He died in 1967, but his legacy lives on, not just as the father of the atomic bomb, but as a man who built a weapon, and then questioned if the world should ever use it.